Here we go. Uh, 2015 Toyota Camry. About to change out the door handle. Customer had one broke on the driver's side. I already done that one. Now I just thought about filming. But here's one of the newer ones. She couldn't find the silver one, so she had to buy black, so she bought all four of them. So I'm gonna show you how to change it out on this passenger, front passenger door and uh, rear right passenger door. Uh, the front passenger door is similar to the driver's side. It's the easiest to do, the front doors. All you have to do, pop out this grommet here. And you're gonna get yourself a uh, Torx. What size we have here? T30. You're gonna loosen that screw there. The screw can't fall out, it holds itself in place. Once you get the screw loose, I'm gonna pop this cap off, this thumb piece off here. Ah. Kinda hard to do it with one hand. Pop that off. Then you're gonna grab the handle. Pull it this way and out. I'm just gonna put it in the back and out. Don't forget to pop this gasket back on. I'm gonna take the new door handle. Do the opposite of what you did to get it out. Push it in. And forward. Make sure it works. That's good. And you're gonna take the thumb piece, the thumb press, or whatever you want to call it, just push that in like so, you're going to come back around, like I say, this one is real easy, you got the torch screw in there, you're just going to snug it up, you guys I need two hands I gotta hold it with one and screw it with the other one I'll bring you right back okay once you get that on I'm gonna take your grommet pop it back in close the door pull it she got some chrome um, uh, some chrome stick on so I should call it you just peel the tape off and stick them on and they look like that Right. I ain't got to show you how to do that. Hopefully, should be self-explanatory. Uh, let me try to find my phone holder. Let me get my phone holder out and get the back door open and get the phone set up for recording. Then I'll bring you guys right back. I'm gonna pause it for a second. Okay, like I said, this side is a little more involved. So we're gonna get right back at it. Um. The door handle here you got a little piece inside here that you need to pop out very easy you got a screw right there um, this here pops up just lift it straight up it's got a uh, connector on the back side for the door window you're gonna pop that out set that to the side and then this cushion elbow cushion piece here pops up Set that to the side. Now you have a screw right here, a screw right there. It might get a little shaky here because it's the only thing I have to set you guys up on. So I'm gonna put the camera, the phone on here while I record, while I work. Let me get that um, door panel off right quick. Like I said, we got three screws, one here. This is Phillips. Number two Phillips will work. Set them down there. 
three screws out the way. The door panel just pops off like so. Uh, this is in the camera. It's probably too shaky for you guys. Hold on a second. Let me find another way. Okay, that looks a little better. So like I was saying, the door panel just pops off. I usually just grab it right here, hold the door and pull. Pop it out, same with the top. It's a little tight on this one. This one's just full. And then, Door lash just falls off. This whole uh, felt piece came out with this one. The other side it did it. You get the picture. So it probably lifts on with that. Uh, now we got this peel this here back. And we need to get our hands in there. I hook the connector here. We have three torque screws right there. Is that in the picture? One, two, three. And we got this module in here, this lock module. Door lock, door latch module. I don't know what it's called, but we're going to remove these. One, don't lose your screws. Two, three. All right. And we're going to go in. Push this in, and we can slide this whole door module back. All right, it just sits to the side. This is what it looks like. We just set it right there. Now we can get to the, I don't know if you can see it up in there. That torch right there. We need to get that removed. I'm gonna put you guys back on the stand. Get your reposition here. Put you guys back on the stand. We're gonna get in there. Get it loose. And just like the front door, that screw doesn't come out. It sits there. It doesn't fall. Get that pulled off. Pull it out and back. Pop that off. Again, we got the new one. Take the front end, put the back end, slide it forward. Wow, missed the gas gas. Slide it forward. Take the back piece or the thumb piece, whatever you want to call it. Just pop it on, just like so. Now we'll get the screw started. Important part right here I'm about to show you. See the red, see the red um, hook looking thing in there? When I pull on the door handle, that pushes down. So we got to make sure that it's on this, like so. If you don't have that there, that has to push this down to open the door. So we want to make sure when you're putting this back in place that that hook looking thing is on it like that or over it like that, however you want to say. Let me set you guys back up. So we're going to slide this in. Looking through the hole here, I'm just 
just going to make sure when I come up with it that that hook thing is in the right spot. I'll get the screw set back in. Just start all three of them by, by hand. Make sure you got this connector here popped out. Snug them up. Sorry for the wind blowing out here. And then an easy way to test this before you close the door is just pull that all the way back, like so. The door is closed. And oh, I should do something else. Try to pull it back, the latch back. You can't while you're pulling on it. Pull the door handle. I didn't get it. It looked like I got it, but I didn't get it. So I got to take it back out. And we do it. Looks like I had it, but that's the reason you test it. Yep, let me show you from the inside here. I didn't get it. I guess I should have look inside here let me see can we see that uh, let's try to put some light on see it back there I, I missed it so I'm going to pull it back out and make sure it's right just do that while I'm holding the phone this time. See what it looks like now. Okay, now I got it. You see? I can't hardly get in there. Good look on it. There we go. So I got it now. Now I'm going to tighten it up and everything should be good. Let me put you guys back in place. Test it out again. So again, we'll slide this back. Oh, it's already there. Remember, I'm gonna open it. Bam, it comes out. So we're good. So the next one is. Putting door panel back on. Get this put back up. This vapor barrier. And connect the plug back in. You gotta set your are oh, we looking in the right spot? So on the back of the door, or the inside of the door panel, you have this. You want to make sure it's locked in place. And the door lock, just the, the door handle, just goes on it like that. You got this little piece here that goes into the this hole right here. So you'll simply just put it in. Hard to explain it to you without seeing it. Pop all the other pieces 
the next three screws in. sits over the top of that one. Don't forget to plug it in to your window. Switch. Here we go. And I have one more piece here. This piece that came out, get it in first, and then push it in from the back. And that locks in place. And we good to go. Now I guess I can show you how to put these little Sticky sticks on. Hopefully they last and stay on. So here's the first one. It's just some double sided tape, peel the red piece off. All right? Put the trash in the garbage. And try to line it up with the front first. Slide it on from the back to the back. Give it a good push. Pick it out. It works. We're going to do the same thing with the small piece. Line it off on the back, over the top. Press it on. That's all she wrote. Thanks for watching. If it helped you out, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Please like or don't like. But please subscribe to the channel, it'll help. Thanks.